Okay, so I'm just going to um, say a few things about fascism and communism and um, the wars in the world, uh, particularly in the West, the democratic countries divided uh, politically along the lines of left and right. Um, the difference between fascism and communism. It? it sort of seems like feminists are calling uh, MGTOW, MRA, Gamergate, white males. Um, we get the label of fascist. And um, and then the predominantly sort of male anti-feminist stance is to call them communist or cultural Marxist. Ultimately, in the end, when it comes to social practices, I kind of think that fascism and communism are pretty much exactly the same. They only differ along the lines of economic principles, communism being state-owned and run businesses, and fascism being a bit more like capitalism, private-owned enterprise primarily. So if you're wondering whether America is a communist or fascist country, if it has to be called that, um, you'd have to say it's fascist because the because it's capitalist. Businesses aren't owned much by the um, government. Uh, ever since the 80s, the whole Western world has, um, even though the you know the Western world, the West, as opposed to the East of Europe, um, did used to have businesses that were run like rail and well, lots of po the posts and stuff like that that was government run, but you wouldn't say that they were that they were ever communist countries just because the government ran a few things. Oh, but anyway, it's like I wish this whole left versus right thing would disappear and people would just sort of play each um, thing on its merit. I don't know, why do I, why did I call my name fascist net rot? Well, you know, it's not necessarily about uh, Nazi Germany. It's about totalitarianism in general. It's like one of my Bibles is 1984 by George Orwell, which to me is like he's, he's, I don't know, it's all there. It, 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 uh, George Orwell's 1984 sort of has everything you want to look out for in the dangers of power. And uh, his take on language is super interesting. Um, but yeah, basically I kind of wish, oh, that's why it felt. I wonder if I've got rainbow. Um, oh yeah, this is left versus right. I'm a lefty, I'm a righty. Fuck, 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 fuck. I think it's just unnecessarily divisive. And it's almost like these terms are really no longer relevant because there really is no viable left anymore. There's not. If communism on the far left was state-owned businesses with no private enterprise, well, communists had its go, and it failed, or well, it was taken down, whatever. <sighs> I'm sort of sick of how people are, f like, this society kind of forces people into saying, are you, are you left or right? Are you Labour or Liberal? Are you Democrat, Republican? Are you um, Tory or Labour? I'm sort of sick of this sort of duopoly that sort of divides society down the middle and really just gets people fighting on things where, yeah, like, I don't know, 90% of what people want in life is pretty much the same thing. They want enough food, they want a good job, they want a nice family, blah, 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 blah. Happy days.
But anyway, that's why I'm called fascist net right, is just because I'm anti-totalitarianism. Um, and, and that's the funny thing, you won't get many people who say, I'm pro-totalitarianism. I'm pro the government telling me everything what to do. I don't think there's many people like that. Um, you know. Oh, what? To quote Bruce Dickinson, gets on my tits. Anyway, so fascist this, communist this, I don't know, it's all kind of, it's, it's all kind of lost its meaning, it's like, we all throw it about so easily, I think it's when we're at a loss for words and we just think, look, here's what it comes down to, I think we, we, we all realise that fascism and communism was pretty much just about bossing people around and not allowing them to have freedom of thought. I mean, see, that's like, that's like this fucking fundamental, this is like one of the problems of humanity. Nobody likes being told what to do. Nobody likes being told what to think. Everybody thinks that sucks. Most people think that school kind of sucks because most of the time you're being told what to do and you'd rather be doing other things. So nobody, it's, it's human nature that most people don't like being told what to do, what to think. We like to think that we have a choice. And that's the way it should be, that's human nature. Where human societies go really wrong is by constantly trying to impose what is right and what is wrong upon people. And then that, that always ends in a loss of freedom. But whether you call that living under fascism or communism, it's all totalitarianism where uh, the government, the state, the powerful, the rich, the elite, they all want to tell you what to do and how to live. And so if there's any feminists watching this, I want you to realise this is why people are getting the shits with you and you say, why do people hate feminism? Like, and this is, it's this fucking simple. People don't like being told what to do. People don't like being told how to live their lives. They don't like being told how to think. You know what I mean? They don't like being told what computer games they can play. They don't like being told what books they have to read. Uh, like, if you want freedom, okay, look, the golden rule, do unto others as you will have others do unto you. This is how batshit bullshit, batshit crazy, this uh, world has gotten. We've forgotten the most fundamental fucking thing to do. I mean, we had it as a school, at the end of our school pledge. Do unto others, this was it, and I will do unto others as I will have others do unto me and I will try to be a good Australian, strive with honour. And that was the end of the school pledge. So that was drilled into us, and you could say that's brainwashing, but if you're going to brainwash anybody about any one concept, surely it's do unto others as you'll have others do unto you. So feminists are like, why don't they like what we're on about? It's because your whole trip is to try to, is your whole trip is telling people what's correct thought and what's wrong thought, what's good behaviour, what's bad behaviour. See, that's, you're, you're on a control trip, right? And so you don't like being told what to do. You don't like living under what you think is the patriarchy. No, nobody likes it. I mean, it's, it's, it's this human dilemma is that throughout history, it's like this fucking conquering bullshit, this conquering mentality that you've got to usurp power and have revolution and set up empires and all this stuff and you rule by force. See, that's another thing, rule by force. Nobody likes that. <laughs> and so it's just do unto others as you'll have others do unto you. And that's what, and this is where, this is what a lot of men don't like about feminism is because it's preachy. I mean, you don't want me to like, um, you know, rock up to you and, and 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 just have me spouting everything I fucking believe and then treat you like shit if you don't fucking believe what I believe. No one likes that. You don't like it. I don't like it. There's probably no one on the planet that does. But we've been indoctrinated into this sort of bullshit of, of right and wrong. Left and right. Right and wrong. See? Always splitting it into dualities. Well, it's so fucking simple, isn't it? 
I don't, no one likes being told what to do. And, and, and a totalitarian system is one that bosses the fuck out of everyone and tells everybody every detail of their life how it has to be lived. And, and, if, you, and if you look at it, that's precisely what feminism is, is that it has this sort of guidebook of principles and rules that every friggin' person on the planet has to live by. And can't you see that that's totalitarian? I don't know. It's that simple to me. No one likes being told how to live their lives. You don't fucking like it. So don't do it to others. It's the golden rule. Can you repeat after me the golden rule? I will do unto others as I will have others do unto me. If every human being lived by that, it'd be fucking cool. <laughs>